What's going on guys? Jonathan here with TLD back in action. I was getting over a cold the last couple of days. I'm sure you guys had lots and lots of video game goodness to keep you guys busy. But regardless, I am back and I'm bringing you guys the MacBook Pro upgrade video. Now I want to do this as in-depth as possible. So I'm going to break it into probably three or four videos. The first being this one, which is an overview telling you guys exactly what I'm doing, what I'm using, uh, as well as the memory upgrade since that is the easiest part of the whole process. Now as far as what exactly I'll be doing, I'll be upgrading the RAM from 4 gigs up to 8 gigabytes and then I'll be throwing deuces at you with two OCZ Vertex 320 gig SSDs. I'm going to throw both those in the MacBook Pro, put them in RAID and hopefully get some awesomely, fantastically speedy results. Now in order to do that, I'm going to have to remove the optical drive and I'll be using the OWC data doubler to add the second hard drive into there. So in terms of videos, the second part of this is going to be strictly just a hard drive upgrade for those of you guys who just want to do one not necessarily going to do RAID like me but you still want to learn how to do that. The the third video will consist of actually removing the optical drive, installing the second SSD, and then setting up the whole RAID process. Now I've seen a few comments from you guys saying that the optical drive on the MacBook Pro is only SATA 2, 3 gigabits per second, but if you check it out, it is indeed in fact SATA 3, 6 gigabits per second. You guys can see the screenshot right here. So we should get some very, very tasty speedy results from this RAID setup. With that being said, the first step to this whole process is upgrading the RAM, which is probably the easiest thing you can do to your MacBook Pro. First thing you're going to is make sure the MacBook Pro is powered off then you're gonna flip it upside down preferably you want to lay it on something soft like a blanket or a towel I didn't do that so don't follow these directions here then there's gonna be 10 total screws you're gonna need to pull out you'll need a Phillips screwdriver as seen here through the magic of video we're gonna fast forward and once you get those off you're gonna remove the lid you might need to force it a little bit but don't be scared it's not gonna break and then from there once everything's exposed we can see the RAM all we're gonna do is pop the old modules out like so then we're gonna install the new RAM module so what you're gonna do is pop it in there and you're gonna hear a little click that means you put it in there right. That's what she said. Do the same thing for the second module and now you're pretty much done. So we're gonna go reverse order, put the lid back on, put all the screws back in there. And the last step you wanna do is boot up and go to the system info just to make sure that the RAM posts. If it didn't, you can open it up, just make sure it's installed there correctly, but more than likely it should be okay. So that wraps it up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so already, feel free to subscribe. For my current subscribers, if you guys feel like being awesome, make sure to hit that like button. I have links to everything that I use in this video in case you guys are interested in purchasing it yourselves. Aside from that, if you guys missed it, the GTA 5 trailer was released yesterday, so go ahead and check out our first impressions on that. I know a lot of you guys are excited for this game, so make sure to check out that video right here, and I will see you guys tomorrow.